be king. I know that's right. How many you know if you hold on? No question to it. Right. 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 The only question is, will you hold on? Will you hold on just a little while? No. Amen. 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 I'm going to tell you, as good as I sound loud, cut me down a little bit, amen. Because I'm going to get louder than this. Cut me down a little bit, amen. I don't mind, amen. If you think you can't hear me, that's good, because I'm right where I need to be. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. 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 We truly give God glory and honor for this day, amen. Everything yes. that God is doing, everything that God shall do, amen. How many of y'all know that you all, Jesus. we all are working in progress? Amen. amen. We all are working in progress. Thank right. God that we are working hard. Hallelujah. See, we just keep getting better and better every day. Hallelujah. Amen. The day of the Lord is sweeter than the day of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And we thank God. Amen. We give God praise and honor for our worship leaders for the month. Deacon Terry. Deacon Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, thank you for all of our leadership here working hard. Sometimes leadership work behind the scenes. You might think they're just looking good on Sunday morning, but, right. but they have done great work all during the week. Amen. 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 This is their reward time. Amen. We thank Amen. God for that. We thank God for all of you. Amen. We thank God for our Texas family. Amen. 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 I'm going to tell you what, when I was told about this awesome, awesome honor that I was about to get to, to um, dedicate your baby. Amen. I couldn't wait. Amen. I know that's right. Amen. Oh, thank God for you. Amen. And everything that's going on in the light. Yeah. And Miss Ashley, happy birthday. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We praise God for all of you. Amen. Amen. How many of y'all know that is a word yeah. today? Yeah. There is a word today from the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be coming from the first chapter of John, so we're going to get, start getting ready to find that. Amen. John chapter 1. And I'm going to tell you, it was my desire. Amen. That there's a certain part I wanted to get to. Amen. And, mm -hmm. and, and as the Lord began to set me up, amen, he began to take me back a little further and, and to bring me forward because he said we need all of this, not just the part I wanted to get to. Amen. Amen. So for that, this, this message has become a series. Amen. So there will be a part two to this. I know everybody that's here today would not be available um, geographically, amen, to be with us next week. But if you're a Facebook friend of Goodwill Baptist Church, amen. 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 We will be streaming live about 12 o'clock, amen. Amen. Next week, you can catch the part two to this because the part one is going to lay a foundation. But that part two is going to gonna blow your mind, amen, and take you out of this world, amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. But how many of you know we need a foundation? Amen. Hallelujah. Foundation peace. Amen. So we thank God for that. Amen. We get ready to uh, read it. You're hearing John chapter 1. Amen. I, I'm going to start at the sixth verse and read until the Lord tells me to stop. Amen. I know that's right. Amen. John chapter 1. Starting at the sixth verse. Uh, when you found it, please say amen. 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 And that was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came to a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light, that was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him. To them he gave the power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Mm -hmm. May the Lord ever add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Amen. Amen. Sanctified in our hearts thereby, making it good for our soul. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, right now for you, God, and every thing that you do. Thank you, God, for this worship experience, God, all the things we've seen, what we have celebrated, what we, how we have worshipped, how we have prayed, God, I thank you, thank you, thank you, all from the depths of my heart and soul. But now, God, it is preaching time, opportunity, God, to proclaim the word of God to your people. So that, for that, God, we need the anointing. 
Oh God, we pray for the type of anointing that will make preaching easy. God, we pray for the type of anointing that will make hearing your word easy. And God, we pray for the anointing that will make doing your word real easy. And now God, as you give us down deep into the well of anointing, bring us up dripping wet that we might feed us thy people, God. And as we feed your people, God, we pray that you cover us, God, that you partner with us in the covering of your covenant, God. Cover us with the precious blood of Jesus, that the devil might know whose we are and who not to mess with. In Jesus' name, we do pray and let the church say amen. amen. Today, for our time together in the word of God, I want to preach from the sermon subject. It's all in who you know. Amen. It's Amen. all in Hallelujah. who you know. Years ago, in a world that was much simpler before the term networking, I uh, was being thrown about as it is now, as it references uh, making contacts with people that can help get you further in life. Uh, there was another word that we often use that meant basically the same thing. Uh, that word was book up. Amen. Amen. You know when somebody is looking out for you. Getting a hookup came in handy when you were looking for a job. Amen. Uh, having somebody on the inside. Or, or having a hookup came in handy uh, when you were new to an area and needed a place to crash for a couple of nights. Amen. Uh, a hookup always came in handy uh, when you were uh, uh, able to use somebody's discount on a job or in a place to make a purchase and save some bucks in the process. I know you know about that. Amen. Uh, now, whether you call it networking uh, or you call it uh, or you know it as a hookup, uh, there is one key point that cannot be denied when it comes to these terms, uh, and that is this. Uh, it's all about who you know. Amen. Amen. So who you know uh, will often make... Uh, Make, make more of a difference in your life uh, than what you know. Mm -hmm. uh, see, who you know will open doors to you uh, that otherwise remain closed to you. Uh, many times, uh, the folks that can make uh, a decision concerning you uh, have no reason uh, to care what you know, to seek out uh, what you know, uh, or even explore what you can do uh, until they realize uh, that they know or you know somebody they know that can vouch for you, uh, express your value, verify you, uh, and validate you to them. Amen. Uh, Amen. You may have the potential uh, to be what they need uh, or to do what they ask. Uh, you may be qualified and qualified. Uh, you may be a great candidate to receive what is being offered, uh, but sometimes you just need a boost. Uh, Amen. To get you noticed uh, or get you seen. Sometimes uh, it's just who you know, amen. Uh, that makes all the difference in the world. Can I tell you today that our scripture presents to us uh, a very, a very interesting scenario uh, of, of a real life hookup, amen. Uh, benefits and perks uh, that you can only get uh, if you know the right person, amen. Uh, let's take a walk, amen, through this word today. John chapter 1. Uh, it opens up, in, within my opinion, uh, some of the most beautiful passages of scripture uh, ever in the Bible. Uh, John 1, uh, and 1 reads, uh, In the beginning was the Word, uh, and the Word was with God, uh, and the Word was God. Uh, the same was in the beginning uh, with God. Uh, and all things were made by Him, uh, and without Him there was not anything made uh, that was made. Amen. In Him was life, uh, and the life was the light of men. Uh, and the light shined in the darkness, uh, and the darkness comprehended it not. Uh, these words, can I take you today, church, uh, they're all about Jesus, amen. Uh, the Son of the living God. Uh, without a doubt, amen. Uh, if that's his resume, uh, then that sounds like somebody uh, they would be good to know, amen. Uh, see the songwriter that pen these words. Uh, it's good to know. Jesus. Good to know Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's good to know who Jesus. Jesus. Uh, he's the lily of the valley, a, a bright and morning it's star. Good it's good to know him. Amen. Sister Pat, it's good to know the Lord. The Lord. Uh, whoever wrote that, whoever says that, uh, they sure enough had it right. Amen. Amen. Uh, it is good to know the Lord. Uh, oh God, I don't want to get too far off what I'm going to do. Can I tell you, uh, for coming up with everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
They holding up with all kind of mentality, dog, all kind of attitude. But you need to learn, you need to know that you need to hook up with Jesus. You need to find some way, find somehow to get into somebody's church, get the next to somebody's word, and find out more about the man they call Jesus. Sometimes it is just it is just who you know that's gonna make all the difference in the world. I'm going to try to stick to my manuscript just for a little bit anyway. It's immediately after this, uh, after this introductory statement about Jesus, uh, that we are introduced to a man by the name of John. And let me tell you, John is not the hookup, amen. But John did receive the hookup. John was blessed with a spiritual revelation of Jesus that allowed him to know Jesus in a way that most people did not. The way John began to talk about Jesus on such a deep and personal level, it became necessary to him that he had to explain that he was not the light. Can I tell you, you can get to know Jesus on such a deep level that folk think that's all you bought, that's all you good for every time right? they see you, you got a word from God every time that's you, right. they see you, you got joy in your heart, you ain't bothered by the same thing they bother, you don't, you don't get put down, put off, amen, or put out the, all about what's going on in the world, yeah. but you keep your eyes up. Oh, lift it up to the eagles for what's coming for your help because you know your help coming for the Lord and you know Jesus. I'm telling you, it's just good to know it. Amen. Sometimes it just all it all in who you know. Amen. They look at you and you have to remind them that it's no more I. Amen. That it's all Him and me. Amen. That they can't hardly separate you from the Jesus you serve. Yeah. Now, I want you to understand, John, you didn't let folk know, amen. He wasn't the one. Verse 8, he said that I am not the light, but he was, but uh, I am sent to be a witness of the light. Even down in verse 15, John proclaimed that he, that talking about Jesus, that comes after me, is referred before me. In other words, I am not the one, but look, I do know the one. Come on, honey. Amen. You got to know the one. The one that walked on the water. The one uh, that calmed the raging sea. You got to know the one that said, peace be still. You got to know. Hey. Uh, sometime yeah. in your life, uh, some things are going to jump up. Amen. Yeah. Uh, and they're going to be in your way. Uh, yeah. And you can't run from them. Uh, you can't run around them. Uh, uh, and you can't fight them. Amen. Uh, but oh, if you know the Lord. Come on. Uh, yeah. know Jesus. Uh, we need to know him in such an intimate way uh, that when Hallelujah. we talk about it, amen, uh, we talk of him, uh, not uh, not uh, by what some other person has told us, uh, or even uh, what we have read. Uh, eventually, uh, it got to go deeper than that. Uh, we have to have a spiritually initiated knowledge of Christ uh, uh, to make our knowing him uh, the real deal. Can I tell you, uh, John's initial encounter with Jesus uh, came when uh, when he, when he and Jesus were both uh, in the wombs of their respective mothers. Uh, John's mother was by the name of Elizabeth, uh, who was the cousin to Jesus' mother Mary. And then, amen, and when the two came together, uh, before Mary went to visit Elizabeth, uh, and when the two came together, uh, they tell me in the word of God that the baby John left in the womb. Uh, he left in a praise, uh, a worship, uh, and a and a recognition huh, of the Lord say and Savior, Jesus the Christ, huh, Jesus the Son of God, huh, Jesus the light in the midst of the darkness. Huh. See now, huh, because he got that recognition early. Come on now. Oh God, it, it, it is so appropriate huh, when you teach your children early. Huh, yeah. to let us know who the Lord yes. is. Huh, when you teach your children early. Huh, when he come calling uh, yeah, when God come here yeah. and later years uh, they already know who he is come on uh, oh sometimes yeah. they just who you yeah. know amen yeah. 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 ask this question amen uh, see if John had a connection uh, a spiritual connection can I ask you today uh, how strong is uh, your connection with Jesus amen uh, can I tell you today uh, that your connection with Jesus uh, is only as strong as how you got it Amen. Amen. Uh, it's only as strong as how you got it. 
with your connection with Jesus is only what you were told or only what you were read. It is not strong enough. See, if your connection with Jesus is based on what church you belong to, that's not enough. If your connection is based on what you do in the church, can I tell you, that's not enough. See, those kind of connections are a good place to start. And definitely nothing wrong with doing them. But when it comes to being connected with Christ, that's not where you need to end up. And let me say this too while I'm on this subject. If your connection with Jesus is only when you need something, you decide to plug in. Because that's right. not even a real connection. I know that's right. Right. And all you hey, doing man. is just trying to get over hey, it. Man. Let me tell you, the real, the real, the spiritual connection with Jesus uh, is not about getting over, amen, but rather uh, it's about getting in. Uh, I get know in, that's right. Getting in with him. Uh, Jesus says in John 15 and 5 uh, that I am the vine uh, and ye are the branches. Uh, he that abideth in me uh, and I in him, uh, the same bringeth forth uh, much fruit. Uh, yes. For without me, uh, you yes. can do nothing. Uh, I know that's right. Without my hookup, you ain't got nothing. You can't get a thing. You can't get nothing. You can't get a prayer through. You can't get a breakthrough. You can't get a deliverance. You need the Lord. You can't make it without Him. You can't make it without Him. Come on, sometimes it's just all about who you know. Amen. John, 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 right here. Uh, John began to go a little deeper with this thing, amen. Uh, see, he began to dig a little deeper. Uh, he had already expressed who Jesus was, and we already see some examples of who Jesus was, but John began to go a little deeper. And uh, see, he was rather spiritual witness. See, can I tell you, uh, some of us got friends right now. Uh, they own. Uh, they're on their way, amen, marching down the wrong road, going out beside the King Highway. And if our witness, look, you was mine, if our witness is not strong enough to take them deeper, amen. Let's see if we get Oh, God. Oh, I don't want to mess up. Hey, come on, man. Oh, God. Look, if our witness can't, can't go beyond saying our grace over our food, so, I know that's if our witness can't go beyond um, letting somebody know when they're walking in error, in love, in love, in love, amen, uh, amen. something wrong. You see, too many of us got friends amen, on, uh, and acquaintances and family members uh, that, that, that we ain't telling them the right way. I know, because our amen. relationship with God uh, don't go deep enough. You may be scared they might ask you a question. Amen. And you can't ask them. They might be scared that you're going to find out that they're going to find out that you go to church near about every Sunday. I know, right? And you don't want to be stigmatized like that. But this is the thing. You may have enough just to get in. You may have enough just to get in. Come on now. But the ones walking beside you, the ones you are acquainted with, don't have nothing. Yeah. You can't save them. You can't show them the way because your connection ain't strong. Amen. You teetering and tottering on the brink of being outside the ark of safety yourself. Come on now. You teetering and tottering. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Because your plug ain't real secure. Amen. Your anchor ain't being held. Amen. Yeah. Your foundation ain't right. Amen. Oh, but God, can I tell you? Can so you be like John and get a witness that that's going to a little bit deeper? Amen. Come on, man. And I see, I don't want to get to heaven and miss my love. Amen. I don't want to. I don't want to misquote that I should have been witnessing to all the time. Right. I don't want to go to my job uh, and laugh at all the uh, off-color jokes and, uh, and, and you know mingle in the crowd uh, and not stand up for my witness. I ain't got to be different than nobody. I just gotta praise God wherever I go. Uh, I For me, so can I tell you, huh? John began to go just a little deeper, amen. Huh? Look at what look with me around about verses 9 through 11. Huh? See, we have already identified huh, that you need a spiritual connection. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Uh, the witness of John is about to go there, amen. Huh? Sometimes folks in the church though, they want to tiptoe around this part of the Jesus experience, but John does not. Huh? Verse 9 John calls Jesus, John calls Jesus the true light, the light for every man. 
which means that Jesus is a true word. Jesus is the salvation. He is the salvation that every person in the world needs to be in connection with him. But as I told you, John began to go deeper in this revelation of his connection with Jesus. For John began to speak prophetically, amen, about Jesus in verse 10. See, this is prophetically means that it has not yet happened, amen. Jesus' ministry had not started yet, amen, but John began to prophesy prophetically about, about folk that would not receive and would not come to know, know Jesus, amen. See, Jesus presents himself, John says, to a, to a world, to the world, a world that should have known him. Why? Because we see it in John 1, 1 through 6, amen, 1 through 5, because he had made the world and all that was in the world, but because there was no spiritual connection from the people of the world to Jesus Christ, the Bible said that they did not know him, amen, amen, they didn't know him, all the world did not know him, and they did not have a connection, therefore they missed the hookup, I told you the hookup is all about who you know, see church, we live in a world that they want to do their own thing, make their own rules and, and do whatever it is that feels right for them, ignoring the ways of God, the move of God, and ignoring the presence of God. The Bible says so much, it says that much in Judges 21 and 25, and it said because they honored no king, that each man did which was, which was what he thought was right in his own heart, because God, God knows the world, and the people of the world are not honoring him. They are doing what they want to do. Uh -huh. Doing it how they want to do it. Uh -huh. They're creating abominations before the Lord. Uh -huh. They are missing the mark. And they are wondering why in the world am I so miserable and what I'm doing. You miserable because you don't know the Lord. And because you don't know him, you're missing the hook uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. John is still up, up. You might call it tough, amen. But you know what that is? Best love. Yeah. Why would you want to walk in a way of darkness, stumbling all up in the ditch, falling down when somebody else is walking in your life? And they right. won't even tell you what's coming before you. Too worried about what you might say about me, rather than I be a witness, a witness not for myself, but a witness for God. But can I tell you, the world needs to know that Jesus has entered into the building. Come on. Jesus is in the building. Jesus is in the house. Jesus is in your neighborhood. He's in your city. He's in your town. He's in your community. Somebody can be bold in the Lord. Somebody need to stand up and be counted and let the world know Jesus is here for a hookup. Holler if you hear me. John went a little further. Huh? Because he looked, then he said, uh, Jesus went uh, to those that were of the same heritage as he was. Uh, uh -huh. He said he went to his own. Huh? He went to his own. Huh? The chosen people, the people of God. Uh, uh, the text said he came to his own, uh, but, he, but they received him not. Amen. Uh, let me tell you, can I tell you now? Uh, there was a difference of somebody not knowing you. Uh -huh, and yeah. it's not. Yeah. On what you can do for them. Yeah. But there's a greater Difference for those that know who you are, that Amen. come from uh, come from the same place you come from, uh, mm -hmm. that know what you know. Uh, Amen. But they're still not receiving uh, a word from you. Amen. Amen. Oh, there will be people like this. Mama said it'd be days like this. Amen. 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 People won't endure sound doctrine. There'll be days like this. We folk will have itching ears. There'll be days like this when they don't want to hear the truth but would rather be a lie. Mama said there'll be days like this. And I'm here to tell you, in spite of you still got to present Jesus. Amen. Because when you look at it like that, oh, it's, it sends a chill all over me. Because there are some people today that are, are rejecting the advances of the Lord uh -huh. in just that matter. They know of him, but they don't want to know him. Know the phrase right. he came unto hey. his own, but they received him not. Yeah. It's talking about those that have a knowledge of him, but they know they are not living for him. Yeah. And would rather die without him yeah. than let him live through them. Yeah. And in turn, because if you die without the Lord, can 
I tell you, I got to be real to you this morning. If you die without the Lord, you can't spend an eternity with them. They all the ones that would not embrace them. The ones that means if you don't embrace them, then you can't receive him. If you don't receive him, you can't know his ways and his plan and his purpose. You can't know that he is Jesus that was born the king of the Jews. You can't know that he is Jesus the living of the valley. You can't know he is Jesus the bright and morning star. You can't know he is Jesus. He's wonderful. You can't know he is Jesus the prince of peace. You can't know he is Jesus the heaven no carrier. You can't know he is Jesus the bird and barrel. You can't know him at all. And you are missing the hook of Sometimes, uh, and in this case, all the time, uh, it's all about uh, who you know. Amen. 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 See, look, um, uh, can I tell you the first part of it? All the hook up uh, is salvation. Uh, but to get the hook up, uh, I told you it's all in who you know. Uh, look what John is prophesying uh, of this stark and sad reality. Uh, but can I tell you, uh, even though John is prophesying uh, of what the world did not do uh, and what his own uh, did not do, uh, this is not where we're going to leave this word today, amen. Uh, can I tell you, uh, God has always got to uh, and exit ramp uh, and place for you uh, to get off of the wrong road. Uh, amen. Uh, if uh, you are willing to take it, uh, the Bible says uh, in 1 Corinthians uh, 10 and 13, uh, there have no temptation uh, taking you uh, for such as is common to man. Uh, that means everybody going through uh, what you're going through. Uh, but God is faithful. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Who will not suffer you to be tempted uh, above uh, what you are able to. Uh, but with every temptation huh? and that yes. the temptation of sin huh? the temptation of not knowing huh? with every now. temptation also huh? make a way of escape huh? you, that you are able to bear huh? come on we are praying for you and I know by nobody else here yeah. the Bible tells right. me huh? that every man that is born of a woman huh? the days are full of trouble huh? yes. Yes. Wow, let me know David said huh? I was born in sin huh? and I was shaped in iniquity that means to right. me huh? that everybody huh? one way or another if you got off the wrong path, it was because the Lord provided it for you a Lord. way of escape. Yeah, you you can get a hook up from the Lord. Yeah. You just got to know it. You know you can find a way out in the word. Yeah. Just like Second Chronicles 7 right. and 14. If my people that are called by my name yeah. shall humble themselves and Come pray on, and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from them. And I will Forgive their sin and I will heal their Thank land. You, Lord. First John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us for our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Can I tell you the hookup that you need is Jesus Christ. And the hookup begins with our salvation. But you gotta know him. You gotta know him. To yeah. get to God uh, and the salvation we need, uh, yeah. you got to know Him. Uh, hey, hey. You got to know Him. Uh, John said, uh, Oh, uh, Jesus said uh, in the book of John 14 and 6, uh, You got to know me to get to God. Uh, I, and I, I am the way, uh, I am the truth, uh, and I am the life. Uh, and no man cometh unto the Father uh, but by me. Uh, church uh, is really in uh, who you know. Uh, John continues to go deeper, amen. Uh, uh, and but here is where uh, I got to jump ship, amen. Uh, I can't stay here all day. Uh, I, I can't preach right. before uh, if I could. Uh, if you were that kind of church, uh, I preach for about another forty-five minutes. Uh, right. and have you running crazy up in here? Can't get it here like that. Uh, I can sit at home uh, and let you marinate for a minute, uh, amen. Uh, but look, uh, let me read this part to you, uh, verse twelve, uh, and say uh, it says it like this: uh, but to as many. Uh, as received him, huh? to them he gave the power. Woo, thank you, Lord. He said, for as many as received him, huh? he gave them the power yes. to become the sons of God. Yes. Even Amen. to them huh? that believe on his name. Huh? We notice huh? that to those huh? that did not know the Lord, huh? and even to those huh? that did not receive the Lord, huh? there was no hookup for them huh? to get this. Huh? It's all about huh? who you know. Huh? But the words of God said, uh, but 
uh, as many uh, as did receive him. I know uh, that's that group uh, that was willing uh, to get to know him uh, yeah. in a personal way. Uh, that group uh, that was willing uh, to embrace him. Uh, yeah. That group uh, that answered the call uh, of Jesus uh, yeah. when he said in Matthew 11, uh, 28 to 30, uh, Come unto me, uh, all ye that have it, that, that labor, man, and are heavenly in land, uh, and I will uh, get yes. ready. Uh, Take Lord. up my yoke upon you uh, and yes. learn of me. Uh, yes. You better get to know me, uh, for I am meek, uh, and I am lowly of yes. heart, uh, and ye shall find rest uh, yes. if you get to know me, uh, right to your soul. Uh, yes. But if you get to know me, uh, yes. you'll find out that yes. my yoke is easy hey, yeah. and my burden is light. Hey, See, that's hey. the group, y'all. They got to know the Lord. I'm telling you, if you want the hook up, it's oh, only yeah. in who know we know. Right. Oh, God, I got so much more. I want to tell you, but I got to leave you with this. If you want to see Jesus yeah. and you want to say amen, yeah. they got to know him. Know if you want to see Jesus, the one who died for you, yeah. the one who set you free. Yeah. If you want to see Jesus, the one the one that let you out of the monkey married place. Yeah. If you want to see Jesus, yeah. he that can put your feet on the rock to stay. Well, you got to get to know him. You got to get to know him. And you can't take no shortcuts. Can I tell you, so many people want to jump straight past you and get to know him. And just say, oh, I want to see him. And to look upon his face. There to sing forever. Oh, the saving grace. On the streets of glory. Let me lift my voice. Song you for a minute. You got to hold up, wait a minute. Cause you got to get the foundation of peace. Because before you can sing, oh, I want to see him. You got to be seen. You got to be able to sing. Alas, and dear, my Savior bleed. And dear, my sovereign darling. Would he devote the sacred head for such a worm as I? I by the slain, sweet Jesus done on, and bathed it in his own blood. While the firm mark a wrath divine, his soul and anguish stood. Why was it for the crimes that I've done? He groaned upon a tree, amazing pity. Grace unknown and love beyond degree. But look, come on, stand to your feet. But look, you got to know this before you can say, Oh, I want to see him. You got to get right here first. You got to know that it was at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw God. Where I saw the light, the light that shined in the darkness. Where I saw the light, the light that was Jesus. Where I saw the light, the light that was going to set me free. And when I saw the light at the cross, and the burden of my heart rolled away. And the song say, and it was there by faith. What? It was there by faith. I did what? It was there by faith. I received my sight. And when I received my sight, that means I can see Jesus. Amen. I can see Jesus. Amen. I can see the one who loved me. I can see the one who died for me. I can see the one that delivered me. I can see the one that gave me rest. I can see the one that gave me peace. May I see Jesus. And I see the light. Y'all, we the power. I see the light. Burgers, yeah. I'm in heaven's delight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I saw the light. Hey. And I'm happy, happy, happy hey. all the day. Do you know oh, him? Yes. Do you want to know him? Yes. Do you want to see him? Yes. Do you feel him? Yes. Do you want to hook up? Yes.